Hello everyone, welcome to another series of today's GK. Let's begin with previous day practice question. Question was emit mission is related to earth, moon, sun or asteroid. The correct answer is option A, earth. The earth surface mineral dust source investigation or emit is an earth ventures instrument or EVI4 mission to map the mineral composition of arid dust source regions. Hence option A is correct. The map will be developed via imaging spectroscopy in the visible and short wave infrared range. The maps of the source regions will be used to model the role of mineral dust in the radiative forcing, warming or cooling of the atmosphere. EMIT was developed at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory and launched on July 14, 2022. Now let's begin today's session. First question is, consider the following statements regarding the Lucy mission. 1. It is the first space mission to study the Jupiter Trojans. 2. It was launched in October 2021. Which of the above given statement or statements is or are correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. The correct answer is option C, both 1 and 2. NASA's Lucy spacecraft, the first mission to the Jupiter Trojan asteroids, will skim the Earth's atmosphere past a mere 220 miles above the surface recently. Hence, statement 1 is correct. By slingshotting past Earth on the first anniversary of its launch, Lucy will gain some of the orbital energy it needs to travel to this never-before-visited population of asteroids. Lucy is currently one year into a 12-year voyage. It was launched in October 2021. Hence, statement 2 is also correct. Therefore, option C is correct. The Trojan asteroids are trapped in orbits around the Sun at the same distance as Jupiter, either far ahead of or behind the giant planet. Next question is, the agriculture census was first launched in 1970-71. 1971-72, 1972-73 or 1973-74? The correct answer is option A, 1970-71. Since the launch of first agriculture census in 1970-71, the country has conducted 10 agriculture censuses so far and the present census with reference year 2020-21 will be the 11th in the series. Hence, option A is correct. For the first time, the data would be collected using a mobile application software for 11th census. The Department of Agriculture and Farmers' Welfare, Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers' Welfare, Government of India conducts agriculture censuses in India in collaboration with states and union territories following standard concepts, definitions and methodology. Entire census operation is conducted in three phases and operational holding is taken as statistical unit at micro level for data collection. Based on the agriculture census data collected in three phases, the department brings out three detailed reports analyzing trends on various parameters at all India and states or UTs level. District or tehsil level reports are prepared by the respective states and union territories. Next question is, the human papillomavirus is caused by bacteria, virus, fungus or protozoa? The correct answer is option B, virus. As per Serum Institute, HPV vaccine production delayed due to COVID focus. A large majority of cervical cancer, that is more than 95%, is due to human papillomavirus, that is HPV. HPV is the most common viral infection of the reproductive tract. It is a viral infection that's passed between people through skin-to-skin -skin contact. Often it does not cause any noticeable symptoms or health problems. Testing for HPV is different in men and women. Most cases of HPV go away on their own, so there is no treatment for the infection itself. There are currently four vaccines that have been pre-qualified by WHO, all protecting against HPV types 16 and 18, which are known to cause at least 70% of cervical cancers. Hence, option B is correct. Next question is, the Financial Action Task Force or FATF was established in July 1989 by a group of seven, that is G7 summit in New York, Paris, Prague or Geneva. 
द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी पेरिस द फाइनेंशियल एक्शन टास्क फोर्स और एफ ए टी एफ वॉज एस्टेब्लिश इन जुलाई नाइनटीन एटी नाइन बाय अ ग्रुप ऑफ सेवन दैट इज जी सेवन समिट इन पेरिस इनिशियली टू एग्जामिन एंड डेवलप मेजर्स टू कॉम्बैट मनी लॉन्ड्रिंग हैंस ऑप्शन बी इज करेक्ट In October 2001 the FATF expanded its mandate to incorporate efforts to combat terrorist financing in addition to money laundering. In April 2012 it added efforts to counter the financing of proliferation of weapons of mass destruction. The FATF currently comprises 37 member jurisdictions and two regional organizations representing most major financial centers in all parts of the globe. The secretariat is located at the OECD headquarters in Paris. Next question is with reference to Indian biodiversity. Dravidacris anamalaika is earthworm, butterfly, grasshopper or hornet. The correct answer is option C, grasshopper. A new member of the grasshopper world which has been identified from Tamil Nadu is named after the Dravidian landscape. The newly described pygmy unicorn grasshopper Dravidacris anamalaika is restricted to the eastern coast of Tamil Nadu. Dravidacris anamalaika is now in the checklist of Indian Orthoptera and among the 500 odd species under 89 genera of Metrodorine grasshopper subfamily in the world. Their body color morphology enables them to get camouflaged to their surroundings. Hence option C is correct. Next question is which of the following ones is not correct about the FCRA that is Foreign Contribution Regulation Act it requires every person or ngo wishing to receive foreign donations to be registered under the act it requires to open a bank account for the receipt of the foreign funds in the state bank of india delhi they are required to file annual returns or they can transfer the funds to another ngo The correct answer is option D they can transfer the funds to another NGO The Ministry of Home Affairs has cancelled the FCRA license of Rajiv Gandhi Foundation and Rajiv Gandhi Charitable Trust recently The law was enacted during the emergency in 1976 amid apprehension that foreign powers were interfering in India's affairs by pumping in funds through independent organizations An amended FCRA was enacted under the UPA government in 2010. The law was amended again by the government in 2020, giving the government tighter control and scrutiny over the receipt and utilization of foreign funds by NGOs. Broadly, the FCRA requires every person or NGO wishing to receive foreign donations to be registered under the Act to open a bank account for the receipt of the foreign funds in State Bank of India, Delhi. and to utilize those funds only for the purpose of which they have been received and as stipulated in the act they are also required to file annual returns and they must not transfer the funds to another ngo hence option d is correct next question is in the context of indian diverse culture the ritual bhuta kola is associated with which of the following states gujarat sikkim karnataka or odisha The correct answer is option C Karnataka. Bhuta Gola is an annual ritual performance where local spirits or deities are worshiped. It is believed that a person performing the ritual has temporarily become a god himself. This performer is both feared and respected in the community and is believed to give answers to people's problems on behalf of the god. There are several bhutas who are worshiped in the Tulu speaking belt of Dakshin Kannad, Uttar Kannad and Udupi districts in Karnataka. It is usually performed in small local communities and rural areas. Hence option C is correct. Next question is with reference to international geopolitics, Kherson is related to Sudan crisis, Russia Ukraine war, Israel Lebanon deal or Armenia Azerbaijan crisis. The correct answer is option B, Russia Ukraine war. Russia installed authorities of the southern Ukrainian city of Kherson have ordered all residents to evacuate immediately. Kherson which had a pre-war population of 280,000 is the only regional capital to be captured by Russian forces. Its loss was a major blow to Ukraine because of its location on the Dnieper River near the mouth of the Black Sea and its role as a major industrial center. Kherson also sits at a point where Ukraine can cut off fresh water from the Dnieper to Crimea. Kyiv blocked those vital supplies after the Crimean Peninsula's annexation. 
Hence, option B is correct. Next question is Section 295A of the Indian Penal Code or IPC contains the provision regarding religious offenses, sedition, war crimes, or extradition. The correct answer is option A religious offenses. Section 295A of the IPC defines and prescribes a punishment for deliberate and malicious acts intended to outrage religious feelings of any class by insulting its religion or religious beliefs. It is one of the main provisions in the IPC chapter to penalize religious offenses. The state often invokes Section 295A along with Section 153A which penalizes promoting enmity between different groups on grounds of religion, race, place of birth, residence, language, etc. and doing acts prejudicial to maintenance of harmony and Section 505 of the IPC that punishes statements conducing to public mischief. Section 66A of the Information Technology Act that punishes sending offensive messages through communication services is added when such speech is made online. Section 295A was brought in 1927. Hence, option A is correct. Last question is, consider the following statements regarding the Tiger Triumph 2022. 1. It is the Indo-US Tri Services Amphibious HADR Exercise. 2. The recent edition was conducted at Alaska, USA. Which of the above given statement or statements is or are correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. The correct answer is option A, 1 only. The second edition of the Indo-US Tri Services Amphibious Humanitarian Assistance and Disaster Relief that is HADR exercise Tiger Triumph 2022 was conducted at Vishakhapatnam recently. Hence, statement 1 is correct, while statement 2 is not correct. Therefore, option A is correct. The first exercise, also based out of Vishakhapatnam, took place in November 2019. In February, the United States joined India and more than 30 other nations for India's biannual exercise Milan, the first time the United States had participated in exercise Milan. Now it's time for the practice question. The term Bardocham is referred to folk music, tribal group, folk dance, or martial art? Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.